This video is meant to show you how to do string art with angles. So we're going to start with a new sketch again. Make sure you maximize your window. Um, and for angles, we always start with a ray. So we're going to come over here and grab the ray tool um, and make a ray. And you can see that it goes on forever. You don't actually even see the arrow because it just keeps going. Um, but you've got two points that make up a ray. Let's go ahead and name those points just again. We don't want to touch those. They do different things. We're able to move um, the ray with A and we're able to um, move and shrink and you'll see that later with B. So um, we want to leave those points alone. Um, we need to make evenly spaced points on this ray. So in order to do that, we're going to use a circle like a compass tool. Like as you see me scroll over this, it says it's a compass tool. We're going to use a circle like a compass. And so we're going to make this the center because we want to start at the vertex of our angle. And we'll make this into an angle in just a little bit. And then we're going to bring this point out. Now you need to make sure to drop this second point along um, a ray AB at some point. So we drop it there and we've measured a distance. Now to make the next point that's the same distance away, we actually have to do our circle backwards so that we have the same size circle. So we take it and we come here and again we have the same size circle so there's our compass setting and we've now made a point here. I can take and I want to cross these two. You got to make sure that the, both of them highlight so you can see both of them are that light blue color and you come back and you just keep doing that and what this is doing is it's placing points the same distance away. If you make a mistake and accidentally don't put it, control Z is your option. You can just undo it. It'll go back a step and we can keep going from here and we keep selecting and putting points and it's up to you how many points you want to put but you want to put a, point, a few. Notice it does not land on B and in fact we don't want it to land on B so if B is in your way you can always move it um, but remember we want to leave B um, by itself just like we did in the circle video. So I have this many different points it's up to you how many you want to do. Um, the problem is, is we didn't really want the circles, we just wanted the evenly spaced points. So if we take and we unhighlight un everything, and then we make a little box through just the circles and not through the points, okay, we could hit delete, but what's going to happen is this, okay, we don't want to delete everything. So we can edit undo, and it can come back. What we can do is we can come through here and select all of these and we can go to display and we can hide circles. And notice that all of the points are still there but the circles are not. If I take B, now you're going to see what B can do. I can make it in. You can see that the points are now spaced closer together. I can move them around and all of the points move. The problem with actually taking and transforming these points so you could translate the points is that when you move B, they're not going to move with you. So the circle tool allows you to do that using your compass um, to space those points apart. Um, so you can get rid of the circles. We figured that out. Um, and when you translate them, those points are not going to change. So now we have to make this into an angle. So if I mark A as the center, so again, I want it to burst, and I select everything. I don't actually need to select A because it's going to be the same. I'm going to make this into an angle, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to rotate. So I've selected everything, and you can see that I'm rotating. Now, I don't want to go 90 degrees. Let's go something like um, 45 degrees possibly, so that would work. Now, if you want to rotate down, you can go a negative 45 degrees and you can see it rotate down but we'll keep it 45 degrees and we'll rotate up so I can hit rotate now I can't see all of those points what can I do you can see on the side that it is now scrolled up and it can tell that you want some more room up there so you can move or you could actually physically move the whole thing you can move a and it'll stay at 45 degrees we can move B and notice that points on both rays will move in and out at this point we can turn it a little bit with a B um, there's a lot of things that we can do. Um, if you pick up one of these points, you can notice that you're going to move the entire angle. So you can do um, many different things with um, these different things. Now, you're always going to make um, curves with string art. So we're going to connect these. We want to go back to the ray tool. So I'm going to connect the last point with the very first point of this side. And I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this just so that we can see it. So let's make let's use green. And then the second to last point with the second one here. The third to last. Now be careful. I think that's B and it is. So if you need to name it, feel free to name that point so you don't um, use it. See that you can see it's B prime. So they named it B prime there so that you can see which one it is. Um, and we come from here to here and we just keep skipping and connecting different points. 
And again, this is there's no good way to do this. You just have to keep connecting. If you miss one and accidentally put it in the wrong place, again, Control Z is an option, and then you can just connect again. Always use that undo tool um, when you think you made a mistake, and you should connect very last to very first again. If you don't, you haven't rotated all of your points, um, and somehow they don't match up. But again, you can see the curve that is um, happening inside of here. So if we take and we move this figure a little bit so I can make it a little bit smaller um, and we'll stick it more in the middle of this um, drawing here, I can do a lot of different things with this. So this is the basic making just an angle, but there's a lot of things that we want to do with it. So I can take and make A the center, and if I select all of these different points, Again, I don't want to select this, so I can just unselect it. If there's anything that gets in the way, it looks like this point was missed, so we can select that point. But if we select everything and we make A the center, and again, I don't need to rotate A because it's going to be right there, I can transform and I can rotate this whole angle. Now, if you notice it's 45 degrees, then this angle is going to just land on the other side of that. I could rotate this a bunch of times, um, rotate the 45 degrees, transform, rotate 45 and then I'm going to just keep doing that until I complete the entire thing. This figure has rotational symmetry, it has line symmetry, all kinds of stuff. So if you like that kind of a thing, the one key to this is that your angle must be divisible into 360 degrees. So your angle has to be divisible. Um, but you can rotate just like that if you would like to. If I don't like that, I can undo. Um, all of those rotations and I can come back to this. Um, you can also rotate and I can transform rotate and they don't have to connect to each other so I could rotate this 90 degrees and if I do this a few times you can see that again it is still going to have lines of symmetry through it um, and there's a lot of different empty spaces it just makes it look a little differently. Essentially I just skipped an angle in between every one of these. So that's a possibility as well. Again, if you don't like it, control Z um, until you get back to the beginning. Um, and I'm actually going to redo just so I can select these. You can also rotate about one of these points. If I pick the furthest out point and I double click on it, I can transform, I can rotate, um, and let's go 180 degrees. Um, and if I hit enter, now you can't see it quite right now, but if I zoom out here, and I move this, you can start to see um, what's going on there. If I move B in even, you can see it even better. So you can see where I rotated that. The one cool thing that I really like, um, again, you have to make sure to grab everything. So make sure all the points are grabbed um, and everything, is if you take a line and you connect your outermost segments, I forgot we have to grab everything after we do that, um, then I can actually make this line a line of reflection and I can transform, reflect, and you can see how it moves. And if I change the colors of this so that you can see everything, um, you can see how it moves. So it makes like an eight in the middle and you can see that the different things um, happen there. Now I don't like this line, so what can I do? I can hide, remember don't delete it, but you can hide that segment and you cannot see it. If you don't like these lines out here, um, you can click on all of them. Um, the rays, again, you have to make sure to click on um, the actual ray, and we can hide all of these. I think that's my last one. I can display and hide. Now the only thing that happens there is notice now I don't have any of my lines. So you would need to fill them in with segments um, and make sure to connect all of your angles through um, so that you can see all of your different segments here. But that's not a problem. If you would rather it look like this, that's fine. Or you could just leave um, all of the rays in there because you're not going to actually um, put those lines in. You're going to put the points in. Um, when you draw everything. So this is a possibility. Again, this one now has line symmetry through it right here. You know that it's symmetrical on either side, and in fact, I believe this one even has a line of symmetry through this part right here. Um, so that is all that you have for angles. So again, this is the video for our string art um, with angles.